Good morning, greetings and salutations, you guys. Here and here, welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because we're all doing fantastic. Sorry, I still have like a bunch of like acne medication on my face. I like just got up, but um, well, didn't just get up, but I've been working all morning. And uh, first thing I did, I took off like all of the outdoor cushion cover or covers for the furniture. My cousins are coming over today, so. We're pretty excited we're gonna host them um they're gonna come later this afternoon and they're having dinner here so sort of that spiffy up the house a little bit uh, mom has also been very busy in the kitchen she's been making a couple things first of all she made like chicken skin for me uh it's so good i don't know if you guys have ever had it so good and it's it's keto but i'm not on a keto diet but i like to try to eat keto still like like the foods mom made um this delicious rice a piece of biryani and then it's gonna be an orange chicken right there and over here we have chicken tikka masala i'm gonna show you everything better later on but um she is like so fast at cooking and then she also made um turkey taco meat which we use for tacos mom also makes them into like empanadas and all that good stuff also zach's balloons are still here he wanted to keep them up for his whole birthday month so they're still here <laughs> they're slowly killing me but it's halfway through the month um and i think one of them is kind of losing some air maybe two of them but i don't know we'll see so that's um that but I'm just like, again, like I said, cleaning up around the house. Um, I cleaned up the living room. That's looking tidy. And, and now I just need to tackle the kitchen. Okay, I'm wearing a hat now. But I'm in the garden. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. So I, I mean, at least the back so you guys can see this whole space. I really want to clean up this area. It's kind of a hot mess. So um, what I want to do is I want to remove this. And I think we're going to give it to Manny, our gardener, this little table thing. And he's like good at fixing stuff up. And he's going to like, we're like giving it to him so he can bring it to his house. Um, so I want to take everything off of there and then move it to the side of the house so we can pick it up later on in the week. And then I want to put the table here in the middle. So instead of being like up and down like this, I'm going to turn it so it's like longer inside of the space. And then it's going to like kind of like float in the middle and I'm going to kind of like move the plants around. And I'm toying with the idea of moving the planting table, the potting table, to this corner over here. And yeah, so that's kind of what I have on my mind at the moment. I'm going to see if I can actually um, do it. But I do want to for sure get rid of this anyway. So I'm going to take all the plants off of here and hopefully be able to scoot it to the side of the house. Oh my gosh, I just moved like the little mini grill thing to the other table by myself. It is so heavy. I don't even, you guys probably didn't even see me. But I moved this thing, like the grill that was there, it was here. Um, we're, we're gonna figure out a more permanent solution for that grill, but it's so cute. Like, I love it, and it's so fun. Um, but, yeah, I'm moving. I'm gonna use this table so I can put the, and we're also donating this table, too. This is the kids' old, the old kids' table. Um, which had, like, this big bump on here before, but, like, now it's, like, flattened out a little bit, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I'm gonna move it over there. So I can put the plants that are there onto it, and yeah, <sighs> let's get to work.
my gosh. <laughs> it's gone. I can't believe it. This is so crazy. Uh, okay, so I definitely just like want to leave this pot open. I do need to clean up under here. So I need to find my broom. And then we're going to get to switching up this place. So now I'm in a little bit of a pickle because I don't know how I want it. So, hold on. The lighting is atrocious. Um, I kind of like it like this. I know it's weird, but it's kind of like banquette-ish in a way. And I think I kind of like it. I kind of wish we had a round table in TBH. But um, I kind of like it like this. I don't know, is that weird? I still have another chair that can go over here as well. And then I can put like, if we wanted more seating, I can do one of the round tables that I have over there and put it over here. Um, but I just need to move around all the plants and stuff because I know like right now it's like so intense. So don't judge us for all the plants. <laughs> Mom has been propagating uh, like crazy. Um, but I don't know, I kind of like it. I'm gonna turn it around though and then see. Cause I just think if I have those thing, like the benches on either end, it's just gonna take up a lot of space. And I feel like as like almost like banquet seating, it works a little better. So I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out still. All right, you guys, I'm like a hot mess, but I think this is how I'm going to leave it. I tried like different iterations of it. And I think this is like the best way to like kind of save more on space and be able to sit as many people as possible. So right now this, is comfort this could comfortably sit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably like eight. And then we can extend it if we want to. And yeah. So, I think that's good for now. Um, I also did move a lot of the plants. Um, this isn't. This definitely is not how they're gonna stay. I just wanted to move them out and then try to clean up from underneath. Um, I'm definitely gonna go through the plants too. My mom, like I said, propagated a lot of plants because she's gonna be giving them to my aunts uh, when they come over in a few weeks. So, um, a lot of the plants are probably going to be leaving. And then I just need to clean up back there and I want to add the hutch onto our little gardening thing um but yeah so this is how it's looking I'm also going to clean off all the chairs and tables and stuff because I think we're gonna possibly eat here tonight it is really windy right now though but it's not too windy inside this little area since it's like kind of covered off but this is how it's looking okay, so I'm literally being the worst vlogger ever my hair is so oily and wet right now <laughs> from wearing that hat but um Okay, so I'm pretty much just clearing off just the top of that. Um, I was going to move it over there, but I feel like it's not going to fit properly. I feel like the space is going to be so squished. And I feel like it does it does pretty well over here on its own. So I'm going to take off the rest of the stuff up there on top. And then we're going to put the hutch. guys I got it up it looks so good I'm so excited okay so it's up it's beautiful I can't wait to put stuff on it so let's actually do that right now
clue what is even happening with what I put up there. But that's just how it's going to be for the time being. <laughs> it's trying to put stuff up there. Oh, gosh. Um, but I'm just going to try and clean it up now. Because I think I'm done for the evening. All right, you guys, I'm in the car, but I actually drove over to 99 Ranch Market. But let me show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's really quick. They didn't have the garlic naan, so I just got the regular frat, frat, flat bread, which should be the same. And they finally had my face wash. So I got my face wash. This is my favorite. And then I also got some hyaluronic acid, which they have been out of forever as well. So got these guys. I'm excited. My face has definitely been eating them. But I just got to Nidan Ranch Market. I'm going to look for the spring roll wrappers. Uh, Mom made some spring rolls today, but she only had 12 wrappers left. So I need to go pick up some more so she can make some more. And then after this, we're going to go over to the, the, the thrift store. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Got my spring roll wrappers. Alrighty, just got to Veterans Thrift. Let's go. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Okay, I was literally just here yesterday, so. Oh, this is, I didn't get this. This is one of the bags I didn't get. I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale. Because right now I'm not sure if I can remove those stains, and it's too expensive to buy. And it's fabric, and you guys know. When it's fabric, it's like, you're not always sure if you're going to be able to clean it. And then you're going to kind of be stuck with it. Is this a vintage coach? Oh, uh, it's like, oh wait, that goes into there? Is this real? No. Is this a leap skin? It's a Costanza Rota. This is a cute bag. I don't know the brand, but it's I like the style of it. This might be a yes. I like the leather too. And it's made in Italy. It's this Margot double pouch crossbody bag for four bucks. But the leather needs work, but like it's still, oh, uh, never mind, it's tearing right there. Just kidding. I might have gotten it and like dyed it, but it's damaged on that corner. What's this guy over here? Oh, this is Lucky Brand. $24.92. I think I saw this last time. Oh, but this strap, this one's the one with the damaged strap. Oh, there's this Coach Fabric bag. 20 bucks. Got this like little, I think it's like a little like wristlet-y type of bag. It's just like a leather pouch, but I feel like it's so cute. The leather is super duper soft. It doesn't have a make or anything inside though, but I don't know, seven bucks. There's this Dooney and Burke, but it's 50. It's like a good style though. I kind of like it. Oh, the handle is broken. Oh, you guys, I found a Rebecca Minkoff backpack. Nice, 20 bucks. I like that. All right, you guys, I found some cool stuff. So I found these Dolce & Gabbana. J and... Oh, jeans? Oh, okay. We're gonna look these up. I have no clue about these, but they're $40. Then, I don't know if these are like Moschino leggings. Like, they're cool though. And, but these are 75, but they're like kind of awesome. Um, and they still have the real, real tag on them. So I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Then they also had these Moschino leggings. These are only 15, but I'm like, how do you know if these are even Moschino? Other than the little taggy tag. Moschino Calze. Calze? I don't know. They're a size 3. So that's interesting. I'm gonna look that up. And then I found these jeans. They're like called R3 jeans. R13, I mean. They seem really nice. I wish they could fit me, but like they're a size 28. 
So, I don't know, but they're 15 bucks. I was wondering what this belt was. It's like a leopard belt. How cute is this little Disney crossbody bag with the Disney villains? Is it torn up here, though? Oh, it's just coming out a little bit. It can be stitched back in. Hmm, this is a maybe. There's this cool, like, Coca-Cola bag. There's this Pottery Barn Kids rolling backpack. Ten bucks. This is, like, new. There's this Stony Clover backpack, you guys. It looks like it's new and it, like, fell on the floor or something. But it should be easy to clean, right? A bunch of these fake Louis Vuitton dust bags. But I just found a real Prada dust bag, which is $10, but, like, that's worth it. Um, ooh, fashion file. So I'm looking through the shoes now, seeing if we can find anything new that I haven't seen yet. Look at these Michael Kors, they're like clear zebra. Um, I don't know what that says. What is this? Oh, these are Michael Kors. These are actually kind of cute. $15? They look barely worn. This is a possible maybe. Look how cute these are. Alright, I think we kind of like those. Just gonna hold on to them while we look around some more. Oh, check out these Mew Mews. Mew Mews are so in right now too. But these are in pretty good shape actually. A little peep toe. The heels look good. This. Oh, that's just dirty. Yeah, you know, 25. Okay, let's hold on to these two. What size are these? 38? That's a good size. Mm, well, look at those bars. Something, something. Look at these boots. These aren't docks, so no. Just having the time of my life. Aquatalia. Oh, I looked these up. I think Aquatalia is pretty expensive. I want to wait for those to go on sale because they're still like 40 bucks. Whoa, what are these? They're like lace heel boot thing. Oh my gosh, those look crazy. <laughs> I feel like those would be so difficult to put on. Oh, these Louboutins are still here. I wonder if these are like those like special Louboutins because like I don't think they normally make them this high anymore but I have no clue. What do I know? Let's look at these Crocs that I just found. These are amazing. <laughs> They're 25 bucks though but mom said she wanted some new sandals but these are so fun. You guys, I found this Rebecca Minkoff bag. It's 40 bucks. It's not the worst. I think it just needs a good cleaning. How's the inside? Oh, it's not bad. I like this one. You guys, I just found these Prada shoes. I don't know, they're not like really my style because they have like a squared off toe. But like, they're kind of my dad's style. So I feel like I should get these for him. They're $40, but they're on sale. So I just need to clean them up. Like, they're not bad, right? You guys, I just found a mad happy sweatshirt for four bucks. I'm pretty excited. I hope it fits me. It's like a size small. I found these rag and bone black jeans and they're 15 bucks. They're size 28. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and boy do I have a ton of stuff. I cannot wait to show you guys what I got. Okay, so today I don't know, I was literally at the store yesterday at around the same time. And I found a ton of stuff yesterday. Found a lot of stuff today. And I found a lot of stuff the day before. So like three days in a row, I found so much stuff. And it is so crazy. Okay. So, let me just like get everything out of here. Okay. Um, first of all, let me start off. I got like a bunch of dust bags. So, dust bags, they're awesome. I use them for myself. I include them with stuff you guys like, or that you guys buy. Um, so, whenever I have extra ones, I'll usually always, like, give them out. And then I got a bunch of, okay, I got some shirts. Um, I got myself this All Saints shirt. It was $10, but it was 25% off, so it was, like, 8 something. But this is so nice, and this is, like, so my color 
combo like with its stripes white and blue anything like nautical i'm all over it so i'm very excited i cannot wait to wash this and start wearing it then the next thing that i got is i got another all saints shirt and this one is in green Ugh, this color is so nice it's like a gray green and this one was only at three dollars which is awesome so i don't know if they missed this one and didn't notice that it was all saints probably because it's like super faded like where it says but the fabric is so soft and i mean i can't resist <laughs> it's so nice um then i got oh uh, the los angeles athletic club shirt um i don't know why i got this so i just thought it was fun this one was also three dollars but it was also 25 percent off so i got that oh i was super excited about this hoodie i know it has like some um like bleach on it but i feel like it adds character to it i don't know i, I kind of like that lived in kind of look i hope it fits because it's a small but this is that uh brand called mad happy and i know their sweaters are pretty expensive but this one like the fabric it just feels so nice and it just feels so warm and i'm so sad i feel like it's not gonna fit me so i'm like literally gonna try it on right now with you guys cross your fingers for me like sing a like say a prayer because this is size small uh, is it really a small okay size small pray for me well so far so good oh my gosh does this thing actually fit me God bless oversized sweaters because, oh my gosh, it does fit. <gasps> this is so nice. Okay. Do I look crazy with it on though? Like, does it look weird? I kind of like the bleach stains. I feel like I might accidentally get some bleach, accidentally get some bleach on this too. Cause I wear like, there's this like one sweatshirt that I always wear whenever I work with bleach and like Okay, how does it like I know it's like kind of like a boxy fit, but like it definitely fits me Right like but does it make me look like rotund? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep it on for now <sighs> Could be too much of a hassle to take it off. Okay, so Yes, mad happy uh, then Oh, okay, then I got these pants, and I did not know how expensive this brand was until I looked it up, but the brand is called um, R13. Where's the... The brand is called R13. These are a size 28. Uh, I guess these pants are really expensive. I think they retail for like $400 or something crazy like that. And I'm pretty sure these are like the boyfriend fit. And these are like made in Italy... Oh, the style name is called the Colleen Jean. Color is Holly. Um, interesting. All right, well, these are really nice jeans. They'll never fit me. I don't even think I was born this small. The thing is, though, that my sister is a size 26, so these probably won't fit her either. Um, so I'm definitely going to put these up. Um, we're going to put these up in the live sale. But yeah. These pants are quite nice. Um, $14.96 or so $15 is not bad, I think, for $400 jeans. And these also resale still in like the hundreds. So got that. All right, let's, let's move on to some other goodies now. So I did end up getting this um, Disney Villains little crossbody bag. It's a lounge fly um brand or bag so i didn't know that until i looked inside and then it says villains on the strap which i thought was really cute and who doesn't love the disney villains they're like some of my favorite characters especially um ursula she is one of my faves she has such good songs and i also do love maleficent and like i mean the evil queen is fabulous so got those okay then this is crazy because i saw these as i was like um getting ready to leave but i found these crocs and the crazy thing is is that these crocs 
are well first of all they came like like this they're the benefit cosmetic crocs and i think um when i looked them up the retail was around 60 dollars but now these resale for more like i think they resell like um i saw one that sold for like 120 or something like that so um yeah these were 25 dollars though but these are like brand new these are i don't think these were ever really worn um and they still have all of the little bobbles on them like i know these are all removable and also this is the new style of crocs that kind of resemble um bergenstocks and i i honestly like kind of want these like i don't like i'm not gonna fit in these but i just like want to feel it oh yeah these are nice <laughs> but yeah I, I might actually give these to mom i'm not sure if she's going to actually wear them because they're so intense but like maybe around the house and we'll probably remove these little like the charms like these come off but how cool is this one this is an actual mirror so that's really that's really fun and so i got these guys love it i gotta take off these marks though hopefully those come off easily okay um then let me show you guys the last pair of shoes that i got i got these um for dad and he likes this style of shoe because he kind of likes a squared off toe it's not my favorite but these are prada um these were 40 dollars, but they were 75% off, so I think that came out to like 10 bucks. Um, yeah, they're in pretty good shape. I think they just need like a good conditioning and cleaning. And then I could probably like stuff the toes, like the toe parts, and then um, maybe like put a heat gun to it, and then maybe it'll take out some of the wrinkles. So yeah, pretty excited about these. Um, whoever had them took care of them though. Like they even had them resold, which is nice. And yeah. They're just like not like my favorite style because of the toes, but I mean, to each his own. Um, but yeah, I got these for dad. <laughs> and I can't decide if I'm gonna give them to him for his bird, like part of his birthday present, or if I should just give them to him already. I haven't decided. What do you guys think? Comment down below. His birthday isn't until June. So let me know what you guys think um, I should do with that. Okay, um, up next, oh. I got, okay, so this wristlet thing, it doesn't have a brand or anything, but it's so cute. Like I had to get, it. it's like a cute little drawstring. The leather is so super soft. Like it's amazingly soft. And it kind of reminds me of like wizards and like all that stuff, you know? And what's cool about this too is you can kind of like wear this as like a belt bag. Like you can put your belt loop through it and then like, you know? Like, that's kind of cool. So, I got this. It also kind of reminds me of the Loewe flamenco bag. So, I got it. It's like the little mini version. Oh, uh, one day I'm going to have the flamenco bag. I love it so much. But, yeah, this is, it's so soft. It's like butter. I, I feel like it's lambskin. And I looked all over the place. There's no, like, brand or anything. There's no tag inside of here. So, I honestly don't even know if, like, someone just made this themselves. But if they did, good job, because this is really nice. And there's that. Then up next, I got this navy Rebecca Minkoff, Minkoff, Minkoff Nubuck uh, backpack. And it's great. I love that the backpack strap, it like comes like two straps, or you can put it together. How do you do this? Oh, I think you do it at the top. Is it the top that you do in it?
How do I do this? Is it just decorative? I'm so confused. Oh, wait. I got it. I think. Do I really got it or am I just lying? I thought I got it, but then I didn't get it. Anyway, <laughs> I need to figure that out later. So I got the backpack. This one was fifth. Was it $15? I don't know. They took the tag off. So, yeah. I think this was like 15 something like that. 15 or $16. Got that. Then I got this other Rebecca Minkoff. Um, this one. <coughs> excuse me. This one was $30, I remember. They took the tag off this one too. But this one is in pretty um, good condition. I just think the leather needs a good cleaning and then it'll be good to go. But I love the style of this. And I love all the details. It has all this like cool like leather work and then the studs and it's just a great like everyday bag and the inside is nice and clean. Cross body strap, it's removable also. So I got this guy for 30. And last but not least, so, I don't know if you guys know the brand, but I feel like this brand has gained like a lot of popularity recently, especially since they also did a collaboration at Target, which sold out like the day it came out. And I did end up getting the Stony Clover backpack, and this is in white. Oh, it's beautiful. It has like some smudges and marks on it, but I think I can clean it off because I think like the bag is like new just like fell on the floor or something, which honestly is what I think happened. Um, but I love the color, it's like white and then it has gold hardware. Let me show you guys my school fit. How does it look? <laughs> but the backpack is a really great size. And I mean, I really wanna like, if I can find the Stony Clover stickers, <laughs> <laughs> from Target like I definitely want to put some of my initials on here if I end up keeping this but I don't know I don't need I don't really use like backpacks too often unless I'm like traveling in which case would I use a white backpack so I feel like Dora the Explorer anyway that is going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys had fun checking out um, the store and what I got. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome. So happy to have you here. Um, let me know what your favorite thing was that I got and let me know if you found anything cool recently at Thrift because I always love hearing about your finds as well. Um, tune in tomorrow but early for a new video at 7 a.m. because I do post videos every single day and join, join me every Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific time for the live sales. They're super fun. I do a giveaway every night and it's free to join, free to enter and we always have a blast chatting and hope to see you guys there. Alright, good night or good morning. Adios whenever you're watching this. Adios.